Three, two, one. Welcome everyone to CBC TV, the weekly TV show. We talk about all the TV news and what we've watched this week. So, once again, you can Google the channel by fo- uh, no, you can follow the channel by Google. <laughs> yeah. My dog's doing something that he shouldn't be doing. <laughs> uh, I assume he's probably going for the TV. So that would put me off. Or I can think of the TV. Now, Tristan's here, so great stuff. <laughs> okay. We got everything covered, man. <laughs> the background <laughs> noise is here, man. <laughs> this is all I need. So, um, yeah, you can follow the channel by Googling Current Podcast and find us absolutely everywhere. You can follow me on Twitter by fo- searching Mitch692. I, I changed it up for some reason. <laughs> and um, once again, I'm joined by Sean. What's up? You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram on SeanSanew01. At least someone. <laughs> That should form a sentence, probably. Uh, well, they won't last very long. Sure. <laughs> it's worrying, oh. me, but we shall get on with it. Um, so to jump straight into it, Star Girl. Uh, there's been a lot of rumors. That I think Collider first said it was going to be on CW, and then someone said it's going to be on HBO Max. Apparently, neither <laughs> of those are true. But oh, as of is. yesterday, the CW was true, so I suppose well done Collider for actually getting that one. Um, yeah. Star Girl is going to air a day after it is it comes on uh, DC Universe. Mm-hmm. So my question is, what is the point of that service now? <laughs> yeah, I, I've been asking it for a year. What is the point of it? Yeah, I'm right there in that boat. Um, I mean, on the good side, the show is not dead, and it's actually coming out. Uh, yeah, yeah, that met, yeah, for Jeff Johns actually. Jones, but. Yeah. but I think I think this is a little bit troubling for that service, man. Because this this wasn't this show like basically made for this service. I yeah, mean, like, yeah, yeah. Like I, I mean, I I always ask this question every every week. I'm like, why? You know, why 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 is that why is that uh app still alive you know like why isn't it folded as that into the hbo i mean i i asked that question on twitter yesterday with this news and a lot of people have said no the old shows and the comics catalog fair yeah. enough but you know they announced six shows for this when it came out you had young justice <laughs> you had titans you had doom patrol swamp thing harley quinn and star girl mm. so far you've they cancelled swamp thing doom <laughs> patrol's gonna be on hbo max as well as this so is that star girl's now going to be on the cw as well as this titans is in its third season and why anyone be excited for titans i don't know <laughs> yeah um still mystery for me too but you know 50 percent of the content that they said is going to be exclusive to this service in a year in its first year is no longer exclusive or even yeah. so but this, mm, oh, this, this is indicative of, of their company so like it like it sounds ludicrous, but that's just the normal for this company. I mean, like mm. they can't make a solidified decision, like what they want to do. And like, as for the comics thing, I mean, I don't know. I, I respectfully disagree with that. I think it's just, I think the way that structure, it doesn't make sense and it's not entertaining to me. So I, I just go to Spotify and, you know, I'm not Spotify, but comicsology, you know, and get, get it there, you know? Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it's just, so like, people have said, you know, like, I'm not entirely sure how big the library is on it on there. Like, I'm I'm pretty sad it's fairly big, but uh, I assume all the shows it's got on there are probably going to be on HBO Max as well. For sure, because because why yeah. wouldn't they have like the old Batman cartoons and the movies on there? So is that that? <clears throat> I can't see that staying exclusive for long. So you, you're left with the comics, and at that point, yeah. if you're only paying it for the comics. Marvel Unlimited's cheaper for a year. Yes, it's, it's only by like and... forty. It's only by like forty cents, so it's not much. But it's like it's uh... well, the the thing about Marvel Unlimited, it's more structured and it's not like random. The 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 DC stuff is like random, like it's curated, you know. Like so, yeah. that stuff that you you want to read might not be on that app. You're gonna have to wait like a month until someone figures out. Ah, oh, maybe we should put this like this you know series on there or this you know. I don't, you know, it, it, if they, if they, I, I think the smart thing to do is to, if you're going to keep the app, um, roll the TV shows into HBO Max and just make that a mainly a comics thing and just restructure yeah. it, just like yeah. Marvel, you know, Marvel Unlimited. It makes sense, you know. So like, I, it doesn't I, I agree because they they haven't got their own one like that. No. So no. 
you know, like sure, keep your, D, keep your DC daily, keep your whole community tabs thing they got in there, keep all the comics on there, everything on there, mm. and just have it like that. You know, in that way, you're offering more than Marvel Unlimited yeah. for virtually the same price. So, well, if if it like, I'll be honest with you, if if it was more like a, a Marvel Unlimited, I I would pay because I mean I still want to read some of the old DC stuff. Yeah. But I just don't want to wait for someone to put it on the app. And then that's basically what you have to do. You know, you can't look for it and then read it from there. You know, like at the very least, Marvel's like uploading new stuff almost like monthly or weekly. So it's like, with Marvel Unlimited, it's the new stuff is six months behind, I believe. Yeah. So I, I, I'm like, do the, does this service get the new comics on there? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, I don't know. Oh, so I, mean, I, I haven't got it. On, I haven't got it, obviously, because it's not in the. It's not in the UK or anywhere else apart from America. So, cool. well, when I had it, they they only had like, they, I I never noticed any new new stuff. It was all like, you know, like older stuff and like yeah. semi like semi older stuff. But like, it was never like the new stuff that you know like that you know that was on the rack. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm just I'm just scratching my head every every week when when I see. It's, like, uh, it's, it's odd. Like, I I don't want to con- like just sit here and con- like consistently crap on the thing because that's just but, i mean it's hard not to though. exactly like they, they, everything they do i just i don't understand and it's like that's a really uh, odd decision and hopefully can... star girl's good yeah I, I hope so too uh but i think for me i think it just sounds like another like it, it's perfect place to see w like i, I mean I, I obviously i i haven't seen anything about star girl i haven't heard anything about star girl either but it kind of is because they've already got a star girl on there, so yeah, I, I haven't you heard can just. That's all right. I'm saying like you could just you know just slip her in there. Apparently, the whole like rumor is that she's going to be introduced in Crisis. Yeah, I was about to say. So, that, yeah. so it I would mean, be a decent introduction to do it that way. You know, have it make sense to be on there, but yeah, I mean, it, good. At least they're getting the show out there. You know, not spending the money for production and just kind of. Just exactly. They're, they're not swamping it today. No. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, that's gonna be the new program to uh, for yeah. stuff like this. <laughs> You've been swamping. Um, well, it's it's funny because someone said on Twitter that you know the CW aren't used to having a budget and now they got this. And it's like I don't know Do the think... budget of this show. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so, well, I, I mean, really say I, I wouldn't like you know because like this has already been in production, so they probably had the budget of like Titans at the very least, or at least half. Well, Titans episode. is like two to three million an episode, so like, it's, it's it's way below average. So, like, I, I don't see any of that money on screen when I see you know, <laughs> clips. Yeah. Man. Well, but, but apparently, like people try and tell me uh, Doom Patrol has a massive budget behind it, and it's like, and, like apparently the creator said for the first three to six, it was eleven million per episode. And it's like that's way more than Game of Thrones, so I can't believe that yeah. in the slightest like, there's yeah, no way I mean, doom patrol has one of the highest budgets on tv nah. and if it is then you know, probably should go back and yikes and yeah, yeah, you put it all in the wrong places <laughs> yeah i, mean, I like, love doom patrol i will i will cape that show until the day i die yeah. but there's no but, way that has a massive budget i mean you know it, i mean for practical effects i mean like that robot co- robot man costume is probably not cheap you know Oh, no, but, I can't like, imagine it. But not 11 million. <laughs> no. Apparently, it was all for the sets. And it's like, you're just in the house in a street for 80% of the yeah. show. Like, I, that, that's, that can't... You just film at a random street in a random house. Like, yeah, it's not like they're, they're filming in New York City or anything like that. Then, like, yeah. that that's, a di- that's a bit different. But, like, it's probably some rural town in Atlanta, you know, that nobody knows yeah. about. And, <laughs> you know, it's like a dirt... It usually is like a dirt road. And if it's a town, it's a big yeah. or a small town. <laughs> So, yeah, Stargirl on CW the day after. Um, I just hope it's good, you know. Like, for yeah, for Jeff mean, John's sake, I hope it's good. And that you, nothing yeah. Is with, so. I mean, the suit looks uh, good. I mean, like... I think the, the suit looks the, fantastic. The, like, the actress yeah. looks great in it. Like, it's, just, it's just the content has to be there. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so. Like, I'm, I'm, it's going to be funny if it's their best show and yeah, they've just dumped it on the, well, not dumped it on the CW, but like they're having to spread it everywhere. But maybe it was, well, maybe the budget was really high, so they're trying to get more money back. Like, but... That doesn't make that makes no, nah, I mean, I can see that happening. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I think, I think they need to get their act together over there, man, because like it's just so scattered. Yep. 
Because it's not, you know, there's no, there's no more new shows, but that's another topic for another day. Yeah, yeah. that's another long episode that's just talking about. <laughs> that we do not have time for today, unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately. So to move on, to move on um, Runaways season three is going to be its last. They announced that with the trailer for the third season, which mm. always baffles my mind why you try and build <laughs> hype and then say, oh, by the way, it's last. <laughs> You know, yeah, like, yeah, come on now. <laughs> like, save that until after the show's ended, because yeah. after after the show's aired, it's the last episode of you. By the way, <laughs> you're yeah. it's no longer here. Um, yeah, but, I mean, uh, like, yeah. I just, oh, sorry, no, go okay. ahead. No, go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say, like, you know, at least with them saying it's the last one, I assume it's more of an ending, and it's not yeah, a it's cliffhanger. No, yeah, it's definitely going to be tied up um, at the very end. Uh, like, it, in, like it, it, you know, it's not the end of these characters. It's just the oh, end no. of... It's the end like, of the always, show. Yeah, I mean, there's always the possibility that, like... I mean, this, this show has been pretty well received, and along with Cloak and Dagger, so... I mean, you know, there's always plans to... Um, you know, take the elements of what people like and try to incorporate it into the you know MCU proper. Um, it, it's just it's just the end of that 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 era of Marvel TV. You know, Marvel Entertainment. You know, could yep. bring that yep. bring the show back. You know, yeah. that's not me saying anything. <laughs> it's been oh no no no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just no. saying like there's always no. the possibility. You know? yeah. Like, say so, I'm very um, no. <sighs> I've come to terms with you know this is probably of this iteration of the Runaways at least like yeah you know F- Feige wanted the Runaways for years I can't imagine he'd let these yeah. characters go so yeah. it might not be these ones maybe he gets rebooted like any humans I don't know I don't yeah you know. maybe Feige really liked this show I don't know I mean I don't know specifically but like you know. <sighs> I don't think he hates any of these shows personally. I think it's just like, it's more of a, like a logistical, like, hey, we have to get everything underneath this umbrella. Yeah. You know, um, it just so happens that like, you know, Runaways, Cloak and Dagger, this is all where the part of the old regime, you know, yeah. like that's the- I, I just hope if anyone stays, it is Cloak and Dagger. I, I need those two, specifically yeah. those two. I, I mean, I've heard good things about the, the um the actors and actresses of both both TV shows, so it's not like they do, they hate these interpretations. It's just like, I mean, it, it it's just it's just something that has to be done. As, you know, yeah. like you know, and they, they you can't know. make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. So, mm-hmm. and everyone exactly. wants that omelet. So you know, you might have really liked that egg and got attached to it, but you had to break it. So. <laughs> yeah. It's it's unfortunate, but it's not like the, the characters aren't going to die at the end of the series, so it's not like, you know, there's always room to bring these characters back in yeah. some way, shape, or form. You know, like, I mean, like, when when they do Young Avengers, who's to say that these, these characters don't show up in that? Yeah, exactly. Know. I mean, it's always the possibility. You know, we can bring back Ultron and get Victor Mancha in the, you know, and then bring exactly. the runaways back that way. Let's mm. make the team weird. Yeah. And, like, you know, it, uh, I mean, this it, it might not be a, a so, so it, it's a bad thing in a, in a way that people love the, these characters and the, the actors yeah. who play it. But, like, you know, if you're going to finish out a season, I think from what I heard, season three is pretty strong um, in terms of, like, it, it kind of ties up a lot of loose ends um, yeah. that's been dangling. So, hey, and, you know, uh, yeah. I, we we get the cloak and dagger runaways crossover. It's sure it's only an episode, but we still yeah. got it. We still got. I mean, we still it's it happens. So like, you know, it's just unfortunate that it only happened once. <laughs> yeah, would I have liked a runaway a cloak and dagger season three? Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I yeah. would have absolutely loved to have a third season of Cloak and Dagger, the thing I've been waiting for my entire life. But yeah. I got two, so I just got to live with it, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean... Maybe down the line, who knows? Yeah, I mean, somewhere down the road, these, these characters might show up. Yeah. You know. Anyway, they're very close to Spider-Man. And exactly. They're, they're about the same age, so... Maybe... Cloak um, and Dagger. Maybe Spider-Man 3, who knows? 
that, no, that's that's a stretch. I, that's I finished, stretch. That's a stretch. But I would... you, you, you look at the context of what happened in Far From Home and these these two shows specifically. It would make sense. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. sense. I mean, like he's gonna be on the run, you know. Yeah. So. And yeah, when you've got a teleporting a... guy that can go absolutely bloody anywhere he wants, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> just, just I just slip, want to see. slip that in there. It, and the good thing is, like, if these shows ever do come back, the budget's going to be a lot more higher. Absolutely. You know, like, absolutely. And you might get a better representation of, like, some of the characters. Because, I mean, as good as they were, you know, like. It's all budgetary stuff. You know? Yeah. I mean, like, it could. The, the visual effects were were what it was it's not it wasn't like the best and i think yeah. i think the fans would lo- uh deserve a, i mean I, I think they deserve like a better representation of, so yeah, I, I, abs- I absolutely yeah. deserve a costume for cloak a dagger even so. <laughs> That's I, I mean who's who's look who's to say that you know like you might you might get that at the end or i mean true true I, mean, I was about to say that like, I I'm to say I deserve it, but <laughs> that was just well. Fun. I mean, like, who you want to you want to finish out strong? Why not? You know, why not throw yeah. it in? You know, throw everything to the wall and like just give everything you you know. If it's gonna be your last season, why not? Why not put her in that suit or, or him in yeah. that? You know, obviously not the the boob dagger one because that was horrendous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Highly I don't, practical. They would never have stayed up. But <laughs> there's a lot of double stick tape, man. Double sided yeah. tape to keep this one separate. <laughs> So imagine trying to fight crime and get into that beforehand. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, nip slips coming in there. Man. <laughs> so yeah, that is. I mean, it's sad. But it, it's, it's, it's it's a bummer the way that it goes because obviously all people see is just oh, Feige's cancelling everything. You know, yeah. Feige, Feige hates everything, every show. It's like no. Yeah, I, I I think it's just the fact that like people are kind of sore about the, them ending. It's just like can't blame the guy for like it, look it, he he i mean he i'm sure he loves those characters just as much as the, everybody else does it's just you know i don't know you know it's, it's, it's like all, there, there all, was always there was always three um like properties that were always going around before it was always runaways cloak and dagger and uh power pack and there was always rumored to come from feige feige yeah, yeah. so i mean who knows? Maybe next couple of years, D plus, you know, and we get like. Cause... I say cloak and dagger would go well on Disney plus. Yeah, I mean, I think it would go well with a lot of the like the the shows that are coming. You know, like I would, mm. I could see it. I mean, it. I don't know. Maybe I'm. I might be incorrect, but I, I I could see it on like a Moon Knight show or like you know, I don't know. Yeah, you could fit a Moon Knight. Yeah. I mean, to the, to a I mean, point. They, they could go pretty much anywhere. You put any street level character, they can fit on it. Mm. And like and even say, even like, like you know Doctor Strange, they could fit on that. Like, you know they've had ties with him before, well, so yeah. I mean, like, isn't he? He's a dark force. You know, he's basically dark yeah, exactly. force yeah. dimension. So like, yeah. uh, who's to say he doesn't like pop up somewhere? You know, like that 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 is a mystical error. You know, so exactly. I mean, so. I I was like at a D plus show. Is like it's it it's I mean it, it's you're gonna get what you want basically. I don't know, you know. Here I go. Yeah, yeah. I, can I mean, form... but, you know, it's you know they they need the content on Disney Plus, so uh. yeah. And I, it didn't take me very long to like mumble and stumble throughout their conversation. So <laughs> I mean, <laughs> told you, I told you. <laughs> got me. You got to be care- you Got to be careful what you say. It's fine. Yeah, it, it you'll slip up with... one day, and I'll have it on recording. So I, <laughs> yeah. I have, I'll have all the power at that point. Yeah, like, oh. yeah, black <laughs> Like, hey, Sean, remember you said this? <laughs> no, yes, well, I got it recorded, so you can remember now. <laughs> <laughs> it's forever. <laughs> it's like, hey, Feige. Mm. Not that I'd ever do that, because that would be a, a huge uh, dick move. <laughs> yeah. You're definitely, you're definitely on my Christmas card list, man, for sure. Oh, that's Scary. the best list to be on. <laughs> but, so, like Feige, we're gonna cap off. Mm-hmm. The Marvel TV talk, you know, we still got Agents of Shield season seven, so mm. there, there's something. It's going to be it's... weird having the ending of the Marvel Entertainment era and <laughs> <laughs> probably literally ending or maybe starting or probably still going on at the same time. Falcon and Winter Soldier comes out, but the end is nigh. Yeah, yeah, that'll yeah. tie into something else later. Not necessarily always a bad thing. 
But to move on, um, Sin City, that magical franchise that has never done really well in live action media, uh, had two movies, is getting a TV reboot from Legendary. And I believe it's all the same people that did the movies. So anyway, uh, they do need jobs. So yes, that would make sense. Yeah. Obviously, not going to get all the actors back. Like, I don't think you're going to get no. what's her face come back as well. Abba's as she's definitely not coming back. Yeah, she's making so... too much money not acting. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's. I don't know. I, I think <sighs> Sin City deserves something good. Yeah. I think the show. I think a show format. Uh, works better than TV than the yeah. films because the films seem to condense too much. Oh, definitely. It, definitely. And like the, these, the the stories are way too like dense. To mm. like you start cutting and like you start like like the whole uh, that yellow bastard uh, saga. You know that I th- I didn't think it was very rep- well represented in the film. No, and no, definitely. I, I think you could definitely pull off a TV show. You know, I, mean, I mean, it's, it's essentially a procedural, isn't it? Like, yeah, a, a crime New York piece procedure, you know. Exactly, you know. But in this in this day and age, you know, people love their procedurals and their crime uh, stuff. So, why see, not? do you, do you think this is because of how successful Watchmen is so far? Like that, this is hundred percent. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Like, because this is like a so nineties property, right? and it's like. <laughs> it's like I, I'm. I'm thinking like I've. Ne- I haven't seen anybody really clamoring for a Sin City like reboot or movie or anything like that. No, uh, no. especially you know, maybe before the second movie. Yeah, people were wanting it, but after after that, no. no. But maybe so, it's still like no, just because no one's asked for it doesn't mean people wouldn't want it. So, so, so what's the percentage of uh, Uncle Miller being involved in this? In some way, shape, or form. Oh, I think he, he's. I'm not sure. I mean, it hold, makes hold sense. on. Let me just. I, I should have had the art club before, but I don't. Let me just. And, and I'm. I'm pretty sure R- Rodriguez is gonna be involved because it's legendary. Like he's. Yeah, I, Rodriguez is definitely involved. I think. I'm certain he's involved. Um. I mean, that could be a good or bad thing. I mean, I could give or take that. So he's the only bit that worries me. It's like, well, if you're gonna reboot, why get the same guy back? Yeah, because it, it just basically reminds you how bad the second one was. <laughs> you know? yeah. It's like, oh yeah, that guy. It's like, sure, he did the first one. The first one was decent enough. You know, you know, he had the right feel and tone and look to it. Yeah. So kudos well, on think, that part. I think the first one. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna say it was a fluke, so much as it was like right place, right time. Yeah. Yeah. Type no, I agree. situation. You know, and like I not to say that I, I didn't enjoy it. It just didn't. I didn't see because it was like coming out when all these like independent '90s movie uh, comics were being translated. A film. I was, I was gonna say it was right in the mid like noughties, so yeah. it definitely had the right place, right time. And then they waited like bloody nine years for the sequel. Yeah. Nine like, year, uh, eight years too late, you know, for that one. But it, it didn't help. The second one was like kind of an amalgamation of like original material and like and source material. It's like like he's got so much source material out there for that for that you know particular brand, I didn't see why they needed to put original content in, involved. Yeah, it's just you know it, I think that was the weakest part of that that film was all the stuff that wasn't it and you know that was connected to the books or anything like that. I mean, I, I was I'm not like a huge fan of Sin City. I, I liked it, enjoyed it, I enjoyed the books. But I never really. I say liked... it's just it's just one of the things that's there. Mm-hmm. It's like it's cool. I, I like it. It's fine. Yeah, I mean that the, the first one I definitely enjoyed uh, for just like pure spectacle because it was just like wow, I you know black and white, you know very stylized. Yeah, it was a splash of color, yeah. Yeah, but then you know they lost me on that one, and then the spirit that just completely lost me. I was like, oh. the spirit was just like a... <laughs> the spirit. Was that bad, was a yeah. rabbit hole we just don't want to go down. You know? like, <laughs> But right, the showrunner is Glenn Mazzaro, who did The Walking Dead and the Dead, Iron Dead, yeah. yeah. Um, the, the, the Sin City You're Dame to Kill For producer, Stephen L. Heru, I can't okay. pronounce that name, um, is coming back. Uh, Len Wiseman, mm-hmm. who's going to helm the pilot. Um, He's going to make think... the money real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I see, I'm certain I saw that Frank Miller's going to be involved in somehow, but I can't it... see it right now. It it would be baffling if he wasn't involved because like that yeah. 
Like, Especially like... now, you know, like he's got the stuff on Netflix. He's got like the yeah. five. I can't remember what he's doing exactly for Netflix, but you know, he's got that. So people obviously want him. So plus the, the like, a lot of the Daredevil stuff was definitely like. Um, oh yeah, that was that was a home huge Frank Miller. It was like a huge chunk of like what Frank Miller did, and like I, you know, uh, like i you know, Miller isn't like he was back in the nineties and two thousand. He's a lot less like a, <laughs> I want to say racist, but <laughs> you know he's a lot less impulsive to say like he, he's, he's, like, he's, he's chilled. He's chilled a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's chilled. A, he's chilled a little bit, and um, I mean, I hope it does good, but like, I just feel like it's kind of like banking on like the Watchmen series. You know, it's like, mm. yeah. I mean, if if this gets the same amount of love as Watchmen and it's as good. Yeah, I ain't gonna complain. No, 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 I wouldn't complain about it. Um, it, it's just, I don't know, man. Like, I have and my... I'm fully prepared to go through the same cycle I did with watching, where it's like, <laughs> why does this exist? I don't yeah. need it. I'm this sure looks awful. Oh my god, this is like one of my best shows of the year. So yeah. Yeah. I'm sure we're gonna be saying that for like three months before that show comes out, like yeah, when that vague yeah. trailer comes out. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I kind of wouldn't be surprised if any of the, like, because some of the actors I could see coming back. I don't know, but like, like, uh, I don't know, man. Like, Not Bruce Willis, that's for sure. Yeah, no, <laughs> thankfully, I'm sure. Uh, unless he needs the money, then maybe. I mean, he does do a lot of direct to video movies. So. He does. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he's got, I'm sure he's got child support <laughs> payments now, too. So. Um, but I don't know, man. Like, like I, I have my, like when when you hear Lens Wiseman's, I'm kind of like apprehensive. It's sort of like the uh, yeah. sort of like with the Watchers when that came out. I'm like, mm. uh, <laughs> I, I know his movies. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very much like a hmm. And the whole yeah. producer from A Dame to Kill for is like, yeah, you're not yeah. really giving me confidence in this one. I'll yeah. give you the benefit of the doubt, but yeah. Mm. Maybe it just needs a redemption. You <laughs> know, it's like yeah. I'm so sorry to give you that, that pile of poo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, it, I don't know. you know, I'm, I'm, it's to me, it's not really like if it, it when it comes out, I'll watch it for sure. I'm not yeah. gonna like lie it's not on the right now at the minute. No. Yeah, no, it's not no. like it, even the movies were never like that for me, anyways. But I did watch them just when it came out, so yeah, I'm, I'll watch it for sure. Same, same, same. But right, um, so to shuffle on from that one, uh, we got news that Sophia Di Martino. Mm. is going to co-star in Loki. Um, mm-hmm. Now, there's a bit of conflicting reports because I don't think... I believe the person who dropped it originally didn't know who she was playing, but Deadline no. said it's going to be Lady Loki. Yeah. So I mean, you got to think, though, like, the show's about time jumping, so, like, mm. and, like, reality hopping, so... See, that, I mean... that's, that's my thing, you know, it... It, it, they've said it's a time traveling multiversal series. It absolutely makes sense to have more than one Loki in there. Why would you miss the opportunity? Yeah. And I'm sure I'm pretty sure you're gonna find more Lokis in in that show too. Oh, I'm putting money on Kid Loki. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, <laughs> so, oh, we're doing like, Young Avengers. Who's on that one? Let's not yeah. do that one. <laughs> no. I, I mean, uh, yeah, it's a pretty. I mean, look, it's a no brainer, man. Yeah, I mean. You could look at the casting, look at the actress, kind of put two and two together. I say, um, to be honest, before Deadline said Lady Loki, I was like Enchantress. I saw a hundred percent of casting for Enchantress. Obviously, yeah. it wasn't right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we say the character, that character is in there too, but like, but this is definitely. I mean, I, yeah. <laughs> my only thing with this is you have um, Jamie Alexander right there. Mm-hmm. Lady Loki yeah. is Sif. Uh, with Loki well, in, so why won't you? Why did not, you miss well, that beat? I can kind of tell you that it's. I mean, from what I've heard, there's a lot of there was negotiations to bring her in, but like I don't know. Oh, like, she say no. Neg- I, I mean, I heard his negotiations negotiations broke down. Oh, and, which it, which still baffles me, and I'm not I'm not gonna take a jab at her and say like, but like, like, you, like, like what are you doing then? Yeah, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. I was like. Like her, her TV show I think is 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 ending soon. So she's oh not, yeah, but like, yeah, blind. Is it blind spotting or blind spot? I think it's blind spot. I'm not. Yeah. See, that's there you go. Nobody knows. Say, there, there's two. <laughs> and I, I get confused. I think one's a movie. It's like, what? What's going on here? They made a movie. But, yeah. 
But if you look at her IMDb, it's kind of like, eh. mm-hmm. I see where your career is heading. <laughs> you know. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I so mean, I, I, no, I, I kind of get it. Like in this day and age, where you really want to play your character, but as Tom Hiddleston, I don't think yeah. you would. <laughs> like, uh, very much like a, you haven't really got much to chew on, I suppose. But. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, it makes sense to recast it, like as not. I don't know. Like, I'm kind of glad that it isn't her so much because, like, it's too on. It's too. Everybody's guessing that part already. Like it, it's, I mean, everyone guesses everything anyway. It's true. Uh, that's that's the problem, you know. You when you're working off source material, people are gonna figure it out instantly. Yeah, so. and it doesn't help that like some people kind of like hint at that stuff, but that's not hey. here nor there. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, no, I you know uh, I'm not against uh, Jamie Alexander, but like I heard that she's really like like I, I didn't hear specifics. I just heard negotiations broke down. So well, like, that's a sh- that's a shame. Sorry. You know, I, I mean, maybe I don't know. I mean, like the the Sith thing, the Sith TV show, Lady Sith thing, is from still. I it's still kind of. Yeah, I assume it's still on the table. Yeah, it's still on the table. It's still in development. So, if you if you if she casts herself as that, then you got to go and you know, this it just sounds like a lot more. Just a bit weird. It's like I could have two shows here. Uh, yeah. I mean, maybe the maybe she like maybe she thinks that she's worth more than what they're offering. So, or she's just really humble. So I don't need to. Yeah. <laughs> Someone <laughs> else can. <laughs> Someone else can play the part. I have a best friend that needs a job. So. But then again, if you're doing multiverse stuff, you can still say uh, Martino is safe because multiverse. It's multiverse, you know, like the the, the 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 when you when you do stuff in the multiverse, it kind of like gives you so an you, out for a lot of things. Yeah, it's such a win all button. It's like, it's, like, yeah, it's, 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 it's on the verge of creative genius, but bankruptcy and laziness at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's like, like it's like right in the line between the two. Yeah. The two, you know. But it's a I, I'm definitely, I'm definitely looking forward to this. Uh, this, sh- I mean, I'm looking forward to this show more than I was like maybe six weeks ago. Um, you know, just understanding and learning what like the the people behind the show and like what they might have to offer the show it i mean it, at first it kind of sounded lazy to do, do this whole you know where where is the... where's he going but... yeah um but i i can't as much as i love that first idea excuse me uh that i first idea I can see how expensive that could have been. <laughs> it's, you know, like oh yeah, it would have been horrifically expensive. But just do it. You, like, it's not yeah. like Marvel or Disney short on money. Yeah. Like, you can, well, you can skimp, sure, but at the same yeah. time, like you, you're making a Loki money because you or Loki show because you're gonna get money. Yeah. It's easy know. money. Just put the money behind the Loki show. <laughs> For sure, you know, and that, and that you're you're 100 correct. I think it's, uh, but like I I think there's a plan for why they did it um oh i i assume that for every choice yeah think, like, there's yeah. gotta be some reason behind it that i'm not privy to obviously because i mean i'm not even like, privy for some of the it. stuff you know you know and like but like i can assume that there was a reasoning behind mm-hmm. uh taking that specific idea over what was presented before yeah. and you know and you know I mean, I'm I'm saying this as biased as possible, but I I trust what they're doing with that. Like, oh yeah, I I've got a full faith in them. It's just kind of like a oh that idea yeah, was so cool. Kind of <laughs> disappointing. Work. It's kind of disappointing, but like it'd be like the, the irony that the most Thor thing we have in Marvel would have been the Loki show. <laughs> Loki show. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I think I think I mean yeah, uh, and I mean from what I heard that the show is kind of limited, so it's it might not even get a second season, so. See, that's interesting because the LLC for it, it's got a one, which indicates more than one season. But I mean, uh, that's what I heard. I mean, they're not like it's not like a hundred percent confirmed. Yeah. Uh, but like, I from what I what I've been told, you know, some of these shows are even limited, like truly limited. Like it's not yeah. necessarily going to have a second season, which makes sense. You know, not everything needs multiple seasons. Yeah, I think. You know, I you know, I'll be honest with you. I'd rather have four really great seasons or over like fifteen. I don't know, or seven. You know, like just mm. give me, give me as long as you give me closure to the characters, I'm I'm good, man. Like you can give me two seasons and I'll be fine. 
you know, just two really, really great seasons, you know. Yeah. So I mean, it's fair, all... give me five of wonder. Oh, that, that, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Everything else can be one. Just give me five of wonder. Well, I, I don't care the... what she's doing. No. I think Wanda is probably one of those exceptions, man. I think that they could go pretty much, I, you know, they can go in and out from like one season TV show, next she'd be in a movie, the next in a TV, you know, it, yeah, she, they got yeah. the potential. She, that character's got the potential to kind of like, I want, I don't want to say unlimited potential, but it's got potential just to, to, to carry a. a yeah. You know, yeah, it's, like, it's a shame because her character, she's only really got a few big things, yeah, like noteworthy things in her like publication history. So you can't do much, but at the same time, if you're, if you're gonna go an original route, you can do whatever you want. Like, yeah, you can do absolutely anything with that character. That and she could be in the next. I mean, she still could be in the next iteration of that team too. Um, I mean, I assume she's gonna stay on the Avengers. Yeah, uh, why, I mean, why would she? She's or, like the, you know, the wind button. Right. But you know, in, on the same respect, I can also see her as like an opponent at some point. You know? True, true, true. You I'd know, be like, horrifically hurt if they made my girl the villain of a movie. Uh, you know, I can like, understand I, why. <laughs> yeah, you know, like you look at her powers and then you look at her mental state at, at the um, at the beginning of this TV show, and you, you could kind of see like. Like she could go either way, you know, yeah. and like, and if she did go the 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 later route with you know being a antagonist, I mean that would be kind of cool because I mean she she has that history of being an antagonist. I mean know? she does. I I don't know how well that would sit in this day and age with oh well, I'm mentally ill person now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, sure, Joker just kind of did that, and you know, you could probably do a Joker movie or show esque thing with a uh, really yeah. easily. Yeah, I mean, like, because like the show is definitely going to play heavy on the mental. Like, mm. I think, I mean, I'm not, and again, I'm not saying this as a company man, but like, I I feel from what I've seen that this show will deal with mental stability a little bit more better than the Joker movie. Oh, good, it's, because that movie had absolutely nothing to say about anything. Yeah, and it's getting a sequel, too, which is like... No, it's not. No, oh, no it's that, not? Was, that, that was all That was all nothing, yeah. yeah. Oh, thank God. I, I almost... <laughs> I almost I, when I read that, I was like, oh, please, God, let this be on the cover, yeah. man. It was funny, because like half an hour later, Deadline basically came out and called him clickbait. It's just like, all oh, the mm. trades are having a fight. <laughs> uh, oh, that's cute, though. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah so, I thought that, I mean... To be off that subject, I thought that would have been a, the, the stupidest idea of ever. Oh, it would have been a mistake, yeah, yeah. Like, it would have been just like everything that, like, whatever made that movie great to other people, that would have deteriorated everything because people, oh, yeah. you know, that that movie did warrant a, a sequel. Only it only warranted a sequel because of the money. Everything else kind of it felt like it tied up everything that you needed to tell about that character. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. But. but Back to the let's move, let's move on from that. Um, we'll end that topic there. So, if you want to leave all your hate comments because I said Joker says nothing, fine. Yeah. Give me, me but before YouTube crashes and burns, give me one last bit of engagement, please. So, <laughs> <laughs> give me all of it. I don't care if you dislike it, I don't care if you hate it. Just do whatever, do just, what you're gonna do. You're gonna do it. Just go off, go on, man. <laughs> go balls to the wall, mm-hmm. throw it against we, the wall, and make sure it's before it charred because it imploded. So, yeah, that's going to bring us to the shows. So, we're going to start off with Watch for Episode 5. And yeah. um, certain movie directors that don't believe a squig could work in live action. I'm sorry. Yeah, it again, worked, man. Yeah, it, it worked. absolutely works. I so, loved it, man. I, I, I watched that and honestly just felt sad that we haven't got a proper Watchmen movie. I would say that this show is a proper Watchmen movie. I, I would go on... And, uh, uh, yeah, but it's a sequel to it. Like, mm. Uh, no, it, I, I'm in a, a weird position at the minute because I kind of want them to do a prequel series, mm-hmm. but it's like you're telling us everything anyway, so there'd be no yeah. point. So, I, I mean, I, that weird, like, oh, yeah, I, yeah, me too. Uh, but I'm like, I'm like, like if they did do like a like a prequel, I would be kind of really nervous about that because it's like, kind of feels like it would be backpedaling a little bit. Just, I would say, just continue doing what they're doing with the show and just like drop me hints of what like the stuff that's happening. I say 
right, right now I'm at the point where it's like, no, just just carry on. Don't, don't, yeah. Don't, you know, you're showing us everything we need to know anyway. Just carry on. It's fine. Yeah. I, I can live with having the the original like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And and to Snyder, yeah, that squid did work, buddy. Yeah. You should have put it in. Should have put it in. Absolutely. Not that, that the squid uh, would have saved the movie because it absolutely yeah. wouldn't have, but yeah. I mean, it would have been a bit better. It was. It was kind of like. For me, when I saw that that pic, that that still in that show, I was just like, "Yes, this is what I wanted." You know, I'm just yeah. exactly what I wanted. It's I like mean, that's Watchmen. No, kind of sounds like I have a hentai fetish, but I mean, like, it's just. I mean, it look. I mean, I, I always I always talk about how much I wanted the squid, but it's like the squid is like, a, it's not important, but it's like it it's oh, it kind it's of the, well, it's a catalyst, right, for everything. Yeah, you know, exactly. it, 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 but like it in. The way the show represents it, it it like kind of gives it a weird era mystery to it, yeah. and like just that 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 picture. I mean, the, uh, not the picture, but the uh, that moment in the show. I, they showed that squid on top of the building. I was just like, that's so awesome, man! Like it, yeah, yeah. kind of. It, it just shows that they're, they're not afraid of anything. Now, yeah. you know, we've obviously had like eleven years between the movie and the show, and this like. Mm-hmm. The, what people are willing to accept is obviously going up. Yeah. It's just like, oh, let's not shy away from it. Just put the damn thing in there. Yeah. It's like, to me, when, when he said that about, like, when Snyder said that about the uh, the squid thing, it just reminded me of the first X-Men movie. Yeah. Like, how yeah, they yeah. just were not willing to go there, you know? And yeah. it's like, it it's... Yeah, he's going nuts. <laughs> but he's just happy the squid's here. He's, he, he, well, I mean, he, he, he did eat, he loves eating squids. So, I mean, like, but, uh, like, yeah, you know, uh, I'm, I'm still kind of cautiously optimistic about the movie uh, show because the ending is coming up and, like, the ending has to do something, like, answer the question and then give you another, you know, another question. You I know. mean, they have said that it's a complete standalone, and, it, you know, it's one big contained story in the first season, so, so I have to have something. Yeah. But it's, it's going to, it's, it's definitely going to have at least a tiny cliffhanger, because like, I feel like... Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. There's, there's no yeah. way. To... Yeah, so, I mean, I... Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not, like, he's... I think he's feeling... I feel like uh, Linda Lop is kind of redeeming himself with this show so far. Um, yeah. For me, into in my eyes, anyways, um, because the show is like it's it's everything that I wanted, um, and, but everything I didn't know I wanted. I don't know if that makes yeah, any sense. Yeah. No, no, no <laughs> I, I, I I agree. I would say the same thing. So. It's like you know, Liz, when we were talking about it like months ago, and we were like, I don't know about the show. It doesn't say anything. It's, like, it's like I'll I guess I'll watch it just to watch it. And it's like, oh, I really like this show. <laughs> Yeah, now we'll subscribe to like HBO now to like fourteen ninety nine a month, and I'm just watching this one show, you know. Um, but yeah, it's worth it, you know. Uh, I love the visuals so far. And I'm still, I'm still kind of iffy about the Sister Night stuff because it still hasn't really done anything. No, but I imagine that's all going to come to a close. It has yeah. to. It has to. Got... That, that's that's more the big thing, like the, the big driving force this season. But that, I, to me, that has been the weakest part of the show. Like, oh yeah, it's been the weakest part, definitely. But I, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's because it's just not great, or yeah. if the uh, everything else around it is more interesting. I, I, yeah. I can't tell which one it is. But well, I, I for me, it's like everything else is more interesting around it. Uh, yeah. Like, I, I mean, I love, I love her as an actress, but it, like, the character and kind of the story, like. I don't know. I mean, it, it kind of like it's like a paint by numbers. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, story. It's very much just a vehicle for everyone to get from A to B. At this yeah. Point. Like no. you know, there's. I think the other things around her are more interesting than the character herself. You know. Yeah. Like, like the Aussie stuff is just like. Oh, I, I was I was sitting here waiting to get the Aussie man and stuff because yeah. like we, we knew he had to be somewhere. Yeah. And there was no way he was going to be on Earth. No. Like, I thought he was on Mars. I was close. <laughs> he's on a moon of. He's not necessarily on Mars, but he's on the moon of. It, it's just it's and like I'm now asking myself is like how did he get there? Like how how did was he you know like oh but it's got to be Manhattan surely. Yeah, it, it definitely has to be Manhattan, but like it still could be the U.S. You know, I mean the governments or something like that could do it, but like 
Yeah, I'm, I'm probably you're probably right. It, it's probably Manhattan. So the but... only reason why I would say it's not like a an Earth based government is because how would we a a get to Mars? Mm-hmm. Ain't no that quickly because it was kind of like oh this this squid happened like where's he gone? No, yeah, pretty quick. B we wouldn't be able to make something like that biome yeah. place. Yeah. Let alone well, make it invisible. No. Well, but then well, you've got the satellite orbiting around, so it's kind it's, uh, of it's a bit weird. So because I was gonna say, like, this is like an alternate, like, take. So I mean, who's to say how technically, technologically advanced the, the, the governments are? Which you know? like, true. But like, I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're right about it. You know, I'm pretty sure it's Manhattan. Mm. Um, what I, what I want to know is because it's, it's kind of it's throwing me for a loop a bit here. Like, it was all fake. No, it's not an extra-dimensional squid. It's, you know, it came from Ozzy Magnus. Whether it was an illusion or not, I don't, don't know. They haven't said that. Yeah. But, um, it's obviously had an impact because it rains squid. So what's that about? Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's a, that's one of the mysteries, you know, that, like, that's the, one of the intriguing mysteries is, like, well, what what is this phenomenon? Is this, like, an so after what effect? What is that issue to yeah. yeah, is this an after effect or... I, I, I kind of think that it's a genetic thing because he is a <laughs> he loves to tinker around with genetics. So like yeah. I would I, I would assume that's what it would be, but like I mean, who knows with the show? You know, like it could be, <laughs> you know. I do. I was this the episode with looking? I can't remember. Man, I'm having a mind fart. With, with Looking Glass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, I liked I liked what they did with that character. That made. That character oh, he was great in this. He was fantastic. Uh, yeah. Stole the show. Yeah, I mean, and then I love what the uh, the uh, Seventh Cavalry is doing with like portal, you know, the portals and stuff like that. Yeah, that was weird. That was just yeah. like, huh? so obviously, like this. Obviously, the whole extra dimensional stuff exists. So maybe yeah, yeah. the screen was real. Well, I mean, like. Well, I think it has to be real at some point because, did like, the book, did the book ever say one way or another? No, the book did say it. he trans he like transported the. Uh, from what I remember, I believe he transported the squid from another dimension. Also, it was actually a proper legit squid. It wasn't just yeah. Like, it was yeah. Like, you know, and I love the whole like origin of Looking Glass. You know, like he, you know, like. <laughs> He's being ridiculed. He, he, he's just this little, like, Catholic, not Catholic, but, like, yeah. little, like, religious, proper American religious boy, and he gets naked or he gets stripped. And then, like, two house. seconds later, everybody's just dead. Yeah. Yeah. Did they explain why he didn't get affected? I don't think they have. Well, I, I think it was because... Cause, cause I, I, I just took it as it was all the mirrors. Yeah, I was going to, like, it, I know it has, like, I don't know why he was not affected, but I know that he, like, that metal or whatever, that material that he uses for his mask seems to be, yeah, but I don't know if that was, like, I mean, I'm sure that that will be kind of cleared up. Yeah, I imagine it will be, yeah. You know, I I, I just have an an absolute nutcase. Like, he drills every day. It's like, wow, this guy is messed up in the head. Kind of reminds me of uh, Warshak in a way, you know. It's because... very much like this, like a sequel to Warshak, yeah. yeah. But like, I feel like he's a little bit better character than Warshak ever was, man. Because like, I mean, Warshak, is... like Warshak, yeah. <laughs> but I feel <laughs> like not... Warshak. <laughs> I always felt like Warshak was like this one note character, you know. Like he's out for vengeance. He's he's. I mean, the only thing that was like more uh, interesting to me about him was that like, he was a schizophrenic. You know, yeah. and that seems to be like what, uh, what, a, like that, because like you, you look at like heroes like Wolverine, he's a psychopath, but they don't yeah. ever portray him as a psychopath. <laughs> like, oh, no. but like you know, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, did they ever like uh, say what the, the deal was with uh, the Asian lady? Um, they have. I don't think they it. have yet. Like, they have. Yeah, I mean, I, I I have a feeling she's like, I mean, she has to be involved with the Ozzy story. So I'd say she, she she is tied to Ozzy Mandis because they said that they were close or something, and then she brought the company out and he disappeared. So there's obviously a connection there. Yeah, like there there has been, and I think we talked about I talked about this last week is like the connection of uh of that was the. Uh, Vietnamese lady that 
uh, the comedian. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes but yes, I, yeah. I, I don't know. It, that makes sense for me. I don't know. It, I mean, like, it could. That, it, like, there's a very easy way you can make that make sense, but it's one of those like mm, I don't know if they're gonna go that route. But. Yeah, I mean, I kind of hope they don't because it seems like the easiest. I kind of want the, the connection to be just so peripheral, you know, like, yeah, yeah, I don't want it to be too connected to like, the, the con- only connection I want to see her to is like the Ozzy stuff. Yeah. I don't want to like, you know, like she's the long lost daughter of the comedian and she's, she's Laurie's sister, you know? But, no, yeah, yeah, it's, I, I, it's, it's very much like low hanging fruit that one, but yeah. And it, it, like, but the problem is that it's low hanging fruit, but it would make a lot of sense in the show <laughs> and the events that happen. You know, she, she would, she's kind of like the right age for that. So. That's true. Yeah. And can we talk about the elephant in the room with hooded justice? <laughs> <It's dark. laughs> I completely yeah. forgot about that. It's like, oh, this is the thing that happens, and he's sitting here watching it. Mm. I, I, <laughs> I, when I saw that. I, like I'm, I'm not like a prude or anything, but like when I saw that, I automatically went to the boys for some reason. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, it's very, it very much was the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, like, I, I haven't got a problem with it. Like, it's, it's, fair, no, it's, I don't. So it's obviously it's got its place in the show. Well, I it mean, took me back a little bit. I wasn't expecting it. I was just like, oh, <laughs> it was kind of funny <laughs> though. Like, because my wife walked into the room right when I when I seen it, and she's looking that, at me. That, that'd like, be a very unfortunate timing. In that but uh, like, yeah, I mean, it's. <laughs> Okay. It's, I mean, look, it's 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 a part of the history of those characters, so it's like it's not like, oh my god, this is so out of place, you know? Like it's the character was gay. I say I Watchmen's not like a thing I really know about, so yeah. that was a complete surprise. Was... <laughs> well, I think it was just like a cold Whoa. like one one scene they're doing like this is like a normal scene, and the next thing you know, you get like a guy basically sodomizing another guy. <laughs> you know? yeah. and it's just like. <laughs> Okay, it's the thing that happened, and it's weird that he's watching it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, I think the mystery is like, who is Hooded Justice? Like, everybody thinks it's like uh, Sister Knight's father or something like that. From when someone was saying that, but that doesn't make sense. I, I haven't heard that because isn't Hooded Justice white? Yeah, you can see his eyes, can't you? So, you know, so. that's true. But uh, yeah, I suppose I mean... we'll find out sooner rather than later. Do you, what do you think that connection is, man? Because like, there's something up with him for sure. Oh, I've got no idea. No idea. I, I don't know where the show's going at all. No. Yeah, it does. To be fair, it's probably it's probably the strong suit because like a show working you can figure out in like five minutes. It's like oh, it's boring. Uh, yeah, because you already yeah. know what's going on. Exactly. It's, this one, well, I can't really figure anything out apart from simple like, obvious things. Is, is that Danny Glover, by the way? Like, I um, can't... I don't think I... so. Oh, God. Like, I thought of it was only over time. And I can't be right. He is going nuts, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what is going on here. But, yeah, like, it, it, it's it's definitely ke- it kept my interest. So that's mm, good. Definitely. So, it, it, to me, it was their best episode so far. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure, for sure. Bar none. Because right, it, it answered a lot of questions, uh, especially with Ozzy's story yeah that's what i you know i was just like i knew it you know i knew it was this yeah See, i i, I could still watch a whole hour of ozymandia stuff so yeah jeremy irons is fantastic like, he's, he's chewing that scenery and it's just like god you know yeah, whoever, give him more. <laughs> whoever gave us this whoever decided we deserve this is you know i'm just thankful i mean like we can all probably thank lindelof in some way you know <laughs> just like, yeah, that's, that's a that's a hard pill to swallow. That one. Just like, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to forgive him for like lost and all that. Stuff, but, um, yeah, you know, it, I, it's about. It, I had to agree. It's the best episode. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Absolutely. So with that, we're going to move on to the Mandalorian episode three. Ooh. I assume you have watched it. Of course. Yes. And luckily this week I could watch it on time. So yay! <laughs> yeah. Um, so wow. What did you think of it? That, that was definitely an episode. Yeah, it was nuts. I, I loved, uh, I loved the Jawas. Like the, like uh, the, it, it, there was barely any dialogue in the whole entire show, which was like fantastic. And I love Baby Yoda. Oh, Baby Yoda's a gift. Yes, absolute gift. So, so like, you're. What do you? Like, 
So I, I kind of know what's going on, but like, do you? Th- I'm asking this question as if I don't. Know. So, what, uh, what do you think? Do you think he he has to give the baby to at the end? I mean, that's the third reason you're talking. Yeah. It's just well, no, I'm talking about at the end of the series. Do you think? Do you oh, think the end I, of the series. Oh, um, I don't know. I mean, I he can kind of have to, I think, in a way. I don't know. It, it, sure. It's. <laughs> yeah, because sure. like my thing at the minute is like his signet's got to be related to the kid. Surely, he, um, like it's just the way it's going. He's like, oh, it's, it's not a, you know, it wasn't an honourable kill. Like I had, I had assistance. Yeah. To, to me, the way he's pointing is like, yeah, his signet's gonna. You no, know, we're probably gonna learn obviously more about the Mandalore and oh yeah, 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 maybe what this race is called finally. Oh no, but, yes, there's gonna be uh, very big surprises. Something. Yeah, so I, I assume like he's whatever his signet's gonna be is gonna be related to that, and I'm like, maybe, I assume he's gonna keep it. Yeah, like, I don't think he can get rid of it at this point. Well, like, like, um, this is like literally the first. Uh, uh, like that that species has never been named ever. And no, it's never seen... been named its own third one, isn't it? We think. Yeah, and it's the third uh, species of that of that species that has been yeah. shown on these shows. Um, oh man, I I can say that this show it it more it's reminding me more of like Lone Wolf and Cub now. Oh, a hundred percent. If Favreau didn't just look at Lone Wolf and Cub and go, yeah, just put a Mandalorian armor on it. Yeah. Uh, I'll be yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I love, I don't know, man. I just love the, like, um, the visuals, you know, especially like that Jawa fight when he's on top of the, uh, the um, their vehicle. Oh, that was fantastic. That, you know, it was just like, and like, I still always go back to the fact that I love the character being fallible. Like, he's not perfect. Yeah. Yeah. No, definitely. Even though, but, like, he gets a lot more Mandalorian armor now. Yeah. Like, best, but is it best car? Best car. Yeah. yeah that best car steel armor, which. Like, yeah. Th- that that whole the the Mandalore stuff and like explain like expanding that is my like favorite part of the show. Yeah, and like it's it does it. I think it would have done a, like it does a lot of better job than it would be if it was a Boba Fett show, for sure. Oh, hundred percent, hundred percent. You know, yeah. like it's expanded this like universe by. It's taking one of your favorite characters and like explaining where that culture, the culture of that, of that, you know, mm. you know, and it's like it's, it's only like well, five minutes in an episode you, you get of this stuff, and it's like, oh yeah, you know, uh, we will have almost... to be underground because of the purge and like, yeah, yeah. the empire. And... Yeah, and, uh, like, so well done. Yeah, I, I love. I I still love this show. It's been probably one of my best, my favorite shows, like. In 2019, so far, like it... oh, wait, this and Watchmen are tied for my top show this year. Easily, yeah, for sure. It's unfortunately it's going to go into 2020. <laughs> um, well, this one, yeah, this, yeah. Oh no, no, the Mandalorian no, ends. It's going to end in December. December. That's right. Yeah. So I take it back. My bad. <laughs> um, but it's but... a good end this year, so we are good. Yeah, season two is gonna be awesome. Like, I, I I already can't wait. I have no idea how the season's gonna end, but I just want, I want season two now. Right. Yeah, I can't wait till it ends and so we can talk about it more because uh, it, there's a lot to talk about. Mm. Uh, I assume he's because he hasn't got the full set of army yet. Had he? he's like he's like missing a leg. Missing a leg. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I assume by before the end that gets done. Cause... You will see the Mandalorian is in all his glory. Because <laughs> why would it not be done? And I. I I don't know if I want him to have like colors on it. No, I love the colors. Blank, but I, I really like the fact that it's just blank at the minute. Yeah, I love the co- I love the design, the colors. Um, it's like it's just clean. It's just yeah, nice it's to look at. Very nice and shiny, you know. It, it, yeah, it just, like, I just go back to the Moana song with the crab. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to look into his uh, his armor and like just gaze at myself, you know, like. <laughs> It's a bit funny. It's a bit like looking glass in one. But yeah, it, I think yeah, I can't wait till I can't wait till the twenty seventh so we can just like dis- discuss it together. You know. They have well. you seen all of it now? I have. Yeah. Man, that's so not fair. Yeah. So not fair. <laughs> and it and it sucks not to be able to talk about it as much. But... So how many episodes is it? Is it six, six. or is it eight? 
six, I believe. Oh, so is it only six? We're only halfway through it. We're already halfway through it. I believe so. I believe it, six. Yeah. I think so. But See, like, I thought, it, I thought this one was going to be eight. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. I this up. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> quick. I'm, I'm sad. Google, I, thought it was... I, th I think you might be right. Um, I thought it was six. I apologize for the typing chat. I should notice it. Eight episodes long. Eight episodes, yeah. <laughs> but you know, like. It, yeah. I was like, whoa, I, I'm not ready to only have three more weeks of this. <laughs> like, no, no, I need more. <laughs> I need Please more. give me more. Taiki Watiti is going to be directing a couple. Bryce Dollar. I, I didn't know. I, I say, I think Taika's the seventh. I know he's one of the last. <laughs> Look at episode four, who directs it. Like, I did not know that one for, for sure. Who's directing the next one? Bryce Dallas Howard. Oh, wow. That's, wow. that's interesting. So um, I know uh, Deborah Chow did this one, and she's going to do. Is she doing the entire season of Obi Wan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's you know, it's that's kind of like a massive win because this episode was nuts. Yeah, I think this was like a hey, we want you want to see what's coming next. This is what's coming next. Um, yeah, like, you, you kind of get a feel for this, and I, oh, it was just so good. Also, nice seeing uh, hearing John Favreau again. Yeah, and like Rick Fukuyama. I can never pronounce it. Oh, yeah. I feel really bad. I can, I can never remember how to pronounce it. I mean, it's a hard name to pronounce, uh, but like, Fukuyama. it's good to see him get some. You know, it's like he needed a win. Like he, he's been, he had it. Then he had the Flash, and all those got taken away. You know. Yeah. yeah. Also, the first person in color to uh, direct Star Wars. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's about time. Yeah. I can't wait to the um, Jean Carlo Esposito character gets uh, introduced because that's a very, 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 very awesome episode. I think. Nice. And I, I just, I, I just can't see. Well, obviously, I can see where it goes. He's obviously he's, he's on the run now. He's got to protect the kid, and mm -hmm. there's like every bounty hunter ever after him. But it's, I just can't see where it's going. It's kind of like Watchmen. I, I have no idea. Exactly yeah. Where it's going. I think so, to some extent it's probably better that way because like, oh, hundred percent, yeah, hundred percent. Like if you know if you know what what's coming, then you kind of. I think I think it's, it's it's sort of like when like it's the the uh, the last episodes are really really. Uh, um, I want to say significant. You get a significant yeah. uh, type of like result, like piece of information from that last episode that will carry yeah. on to the second season. And it's like. Yeah. Man, this is gonna be awesome! I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I love the show. Um, if I say I hate... it's, it's so much better than it's got any right to be. Yeah, and it's been, it's, you know, I'm glad that like people are receiving it well, um, considering that like, I, I, I feel it because Star Wars is gonna be on the Disney Plus for a while, so this is an indication of like where where they're gonna be taking the Star Wars franchise. So, I see. You I, know. I, I, I... I, I take it as more of an indication just for the service in general. Like obviously, oh, yeah, it's more for Star that's Wars, but it's like th this is what you're gonna type of stuff you're gonna get. You yeah, know, yeah, gonna, it's like, like it's it's, it's a, a really, really good, good feel opening. like this. No, it's, yeah. it's like a really good opening act, man. You know, like mm. it's like mm. this is this is the presentation. This is like an introduction to the presentation of all the shows because like all the shows are definitely gonna be having this like nice polished. Um, like, it. it looks it looks like a movie. Yeah, and, and, that, and it's playing out like a movie as well. And and that kind of goes back to it, like um, why they're canceling a lot of these shows is because like if you look at the shows, like I mean, like I really, I love the Runaways, I love Cloak and Dagger, but like these the they look it's, like a it's TV night show. and day, it's yeah. night and day. Yeah, yeah. And I think they're trying to like um get consolid. everything to look like this yeah yeah you know um there's gonna be less and less on like you know freeform and abc and more and more which is good say, i i is... honestly don't expect anything to be on abc or freeform ever again yeah <laughs> like, I, I mean i'm, I'm, I'm glad at this point as well i don't think people want it to be on there right? yeah i mean and like the, and the channel doesn't want that they never wanted that stuff no, on, no. on the on the thing but like the, the, it's a good thing and it's a bad thing that these shows ended, but it's a good thing that they want to have quality control on all these shows, you know. They were caught in a fortunate crossfire, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, like, it's not, It's they're never not going to use these characters again. No, they possibly change the actors, but, like, the characters are always going to be here, so. 
Like I apologize for the dog. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. I've had the kid, the kid has been yelling and screaming for the last like half hour. So it's <laughs> like one minute of yeah, one minute of a bark, which probably nobody heard of. So. <laughs> It's like, oh, he's so I don't uh, it's it's quiet as well. That's the worst thing. I have no idea what he's about. Uh, well, thankfully, it's stuck. I, I I love my kid, but damn, I wish he would just like stop. <laughs> Go to sleep for like two hours or something. What, what we need is a soundproof like Perspex box. I thought just about like, using a. I thought about using a I've closet. Got... We have an empty closet. I thought about going in there, but it was like, see, at, at least my idea, you know, had it so you could see. <laughs> He's not just in the, in the dark <laughs> and, and not watching your kid at the same time. You know? <laughs> so at least the, I'm like, the uh, you can see. Uh, yeah. I'm breaking the law, but it sounds really good. <laughs> so, <laughs> quality will go up. Hopefully, but, that's not what the man is going to do to little Bubba Yoda. Cause nah, I think to that child with all cast. I think you. I think, oh, man, I. It, it's it's gonna be very interesting the revelations about that character um mm. not just because like there's a possibility that the species might be named but like just the implications of that say, see, at, at this point because it's, it's weird like, obviously it's called the mandalorian but it feels very much more like the mandalorian just a vehicle to get to the, this baby yoda thing like yeah i mean obviously yeah. we're learning about a lot about the mandalorian and like mandalore culture and everything and like, yeah. what happened to them and where they're going now which I don't know where they're going now because they have to scatter. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, like, it's like, um, tell us, just just give me the name. Like, is this oh, thing going to speak? Yeah. I assume it's got to talk at some point. Well, it's well I think it, I think you're going to see like changes in the character gradually throughout the series. Yeah. So like, and that's going to be an indication. Of yeah. What uh, what's what 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 this is all about? Um. Yeah, you know it's. It's gonna be very interesting. I can tell you. Yeah. So like, I, I, that... obviously, we've got to find out why they wanted him. Yeah. Which well, it, it kind of this episode kind of threw a spanner in the works because it's like the Camino guy yeah. was trying to look out for him. Yeah. So it's a case of like, is it like a clone of you? Is it literally a baby Yoda? I mean, it could be. Uh, uh... Or it just might just be a really good guy that likes his likes his little cute little. I mean, true. I mean, maybe he's just a really big fan of little baby Yodas, and he wanted one. So. Who, who isn't though? I mean, mm. like again, it'd be interesting because if it is a clone, that means they've done the whole Django Fat thing again, mm. but it mm. in real time, not quickly. Exactly. Yeah. So, I'm not saying anything. So. <laughs> and I, I don't want you to. This is one of the only times that I want you to be quiet. Yeah, I'll be quiet. <laughs> I'll be very quiet. <laughs> But I think it's gonna be like a very interesting resolution to that. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't wait. I can't wait till the end of the series. Like, we can talk more freely about this. Um, but like, we might have to make an exception because it, it obviously it ends the week in Christmas. Yeah, the twenty seventh. So. Like wherever I am, oh, we'll, we'll, just... so, we'll figure out a, a a special one. We might just do like a whole Mandalorian show. Yeah. It, it, I mean, it definitely merits. I think the series merits uh, like something like that. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, I can, yeah. I, I, every time I see the show, I just, I look at the hot toys coming out, and I'm like, damn, this, this is the first Star Wars toy I'm ever gonna have. Like, like I, I don't have any other hot toys or anything really of Star Wars except for like that. I was, I was about to say, like, are you saying you don't have, you don't really have any hot but, toys? Well, <laughs> I didn't say yeah. you just well, said. No. Well, I mean, like, the, <laughs> any Star Wars hot toys. Okay. Yeah. I don't I say, to, I think... You said Star Wars, and I was kind of like, you know, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this... is this man having a laugh? <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, like, the, the design is, I love the design. I always he looks. It. He looks fantastic. And it's, that's another thing. It's nice to see that the Mandalorians don't always look the same. Yeah. It's, it's not just a... Because... Uh, Obviously, I, I haven't watched like Clone Wars or anything, so I haven't done the homework. Like, I they're, they're not a species, are they? No, no, no. It's a, it's no. A, like a clan. Yeah, like, it's, it's like, kind of it's, like a reli- it's a religion, as they say. Yeah. So it's nice to see that they don't all just look. They're not just a, a, a gathering like of Boba Fett. Yeah, you know? that would have been boring if it was. Yeah, it's just yeah. 
It's like, yeah, I mean, the character design of that is cool, but, like, where, what else can you throw at me here? You yeah. know? And, and I think they did a great job of, like, distinguishing characters. Mm. So obviously, like, you know, you've got the female blacksmith. She has a slightly different helmet than, like, yeah. the John Favreau guy comes in looking like a Spartan from Halo. Spartan, yeah. And it's like, that's absolutely a Spartan helmet. I've seen that yeah. before. <laughs> and it's, like, it, it's hard to do that because, like, uh, like when you're when you're trying to, to to distinguish characters, like a lot of times they have no masks, so you can say this is a girl, this is a boy. Uh, yeah. With the, and, with and the like, thankfully they don't go the route of like booby armor. Yeah. The black <laughs> it's, it's like it's the general. It's just like, oh no, she's just wearing like a chest plate. It's not boob like, girl <laughs> specifically around. It's like why? <laughs> Never yeah. makes sense. And like uh, yeah, you know, I, you're never gonna see those characters unmasked either. Like you're the only person you're gonna see unmasked is the. I mean, Lauren. So, like, I was gonna say, like, I, I remember at some point hearing that it takes, which is kind of a spoiler now that I think about it. It's oh, just like, oh. oh no, because I've heard it prior, prior to that. Like, yeah, I mean, there's like very, it's a very, uh, it, 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 it's only because that's time. a pretty big moment for them. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Because like, th- I think it's the first time besides Django Fett that like they took a helmet off, and, that, and Django Fett really wasn't a Mandalorian, so. No, because like, I, I don't think any of them that we've seen are. I don't think any yeah, of Yeah, they're all like, it was like a scavenger that found armor and then pre- yeah. basically, you know, pretended to be. Um, this is like, I mean, but it's, it's the thing is, is, like, it's a very quick, it's not very long. I mean, it's not like two episodes of like him with his mask off, which I, you know, I'll give, I'm going to give Pedro Pascal some kudos. Oh, for that, hundred, because... keeping it on 100%, you know, this is another Carl Urban dread moment. Yeah, uh, it's like thank you for putting everything first and not yourself. Yeah, it's basically putting the character, uh, the integrity of the character first and exactly like, second. Yeah. yeah, because like he could have easily said, "You got to put a slit in the mask to make sure my mouth is shown." Yeah, like e- even though you can kind of, you know, the, the, the visor when the light, you can yeah. sometimes see his like his mouth or his nose, which it makes me laugh. But it's just like you can't even tell it's him. Yeah, you can't. So. You you can barely tell it's a human being. Uh, exactly. Like he, he's not doing like a Judge Dread thing, where like uh, the Stallone Dread, where he's yeah. taking his helm off any time he could possibly do it. And thank God it's not a Tom Cruise Iron Man situation, but oh, face plate uh, <laughs> like, Who? <laughs> yeah, I'm so That's glad they passed so on that one. Um, it, it'll know, be a fun thing to see as a, like a what if. Like if they do that, what if I I I die happy? A hundred percent. If they can get Tom Cruise to, to uh, voice it, it'd be perfect. Um, oh, just, thank God. It, yeah, I'm definitely. You, you, I think uh, Pedro Pascal is a great actor, man. Like, and I and I'm, it's like it's a testament to him as as a as a as an actor that he's like I don't need to take my mask off to to emote or tell you a good story you know like i can i can keep this thing in all day long and still give you what you want you know and that's a skill to portray everything sure. that, you know he doesn't have a lot of lines so he actually has to act and then to mm-hmm. act without your face <laughs> and it's like and, and the thing is about him is like he's not a small actor he's pretty he's pretty i, I mean he's, he's not like he's, he's yeah, getting he's, there yeah and he, he's he's not huge but he's not like he's not just he's starting not out He's got like a few good movies under his belt, you know. So like, and he's a well-known actor. You say Pedro Pascal, you know exactly who you're talking about, you know. Yeah. So it's a testament to him that he 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 does this because like he maybe he loves the character. I don't know, you know, like the, but like he he puts well, the I mean, character. I mean, it's his, before. isn't it? He's got an, he's got his nice own yeah. little chunk of Star Wars all to himself, and no exactly. one. Exactly. And it just and and it's the thing of the great thing about this series is like there's no nothing really tying it to the main series. It's just all no, per, no. Like all peripheral. Apart from like the the stormtroopers, that's about it. Yeah, stormtroopers like, and Jawas. That, yeah. That's literally and, and Baby Yoda. But like it's, oh, yeah, yeah. it's 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 all peripheral though. It's like it, there's no mention of a Luke Skywalker and there's no mention of like a Han Solo or a Millennium Falcon or anything like that yeah. to like use as a crutch. It's like. They're, and they're, even the empire stuff is just like it's just the empire it's not yeah. like oh palpatine it's like, it's yeah right. it's like there's no vader mention of vader it's just like no. yeah this the, the play the this the empire is scattered it's just a bunch of no you know these they just you know high ranking yeah exactly it's like the stormtroopers death troopers and even the, uh the like the higher ranking officers are they're all out for themselves now yeah there's like yeah. they're they're just they're just wearing like 
basically the stuff that they wore before, you know, I mean, after the collapse, you know. So, so. why wouldn't you? I reckon it's pretty good stuff, so. Yeah, I mean, like, well, with the, ex- the exception of, of Empire Credits, you know, like, apparently. This oh, uses. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still but, spent. It's just not as good. But yeah, I mean, I lo- that's why I love the show so much. It's like it's there's nothing tethering to it. Like it's tethered by the name and by like some of the characters. Like, but like it's not tethered by this. Like, because like you put you start putting Skywalker in there. That's a lot of baggage, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they could easily have done that too. I mean, even if they put in like Boba Fett, that's gonna be yeah. Uh, Which is, to be fair, I kind of hope they address that the like the Fett's weren't Mandalorians? They well, were just, I, like, uh, I don't think they, they tackle it in this season, but like, I, I would love for them to say, refer them as imposters or something yeah. like that. You know, yeah. something to that effect. Like, yeah. Well, we like, know. maybe not necessarily them, but like, other, like, maybe they find an imposter. And so they, they yeah. give this idea that not all people that yeah. wear this armor are actually Mandalorians. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, you know, I have a feeling that they're going to go into something to that on the second mm-hmm. season. Because I think the first season is going to be built is built around this like uh, the, the baby just establishing thing. the culture for like the baby. yeah you know like I think it would kind of disservice the uh, the show if they start reverting back to you know characters about you know from like and that's not J J Abrams is straight away <laughs> yeah it's, it's not mystery box you know the heck yeah. out of it um, but yeah I, I mean I love the show uh, it, it like I said it, a million times man it's like it's ignited a flame yep, uh, yep. Of, of Star Wars that I've had. I still love this. I've loved Star Wars for a long time, but I've never been in love with it. And, you know, but it's, 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 it's been a, it's been a long time. And this, this is the something different I've wanted. I'm going to say that every single week. You know, it, like, it seems to be yeah, for sure. So yet with that, we are going to bring this show to a close. So, once again, thanks for joining everyone, and we'll catch you next time. So, bye. Later.